So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up proof of delivery inside of your business. Now, most people think about proof of delivery is capturing a signature, capturing the name, and that's it. There's a lot more to what you can do in, in, from a proof of delivery point of view, particularly around when you're delivering high value items. I'm gonna give you a live demonstration and showing you exactly how you can set this up in your business and get this operational today. Now, one of the things that, that I find with a lot of different businesses is that they want to have proof of delivery working in different ways. And that might be they want to capture a photograph, but they might want to capture a signature. Um, they might actually want the, you know, the driver or the installer to answer a series of questions. I'm going to walk you through how best you can actually set that up using locate to you So first off, you just head on down to settings, you go down to configuration. Um, you'll see the option here where you've got, there's two options that you'd be looking at. One is proof of delivery configuration, and this is the real basics of it. This is where you can actually say, do I want to capture a signature? Do I want to capture a photograph? You can turn those things on or off. Do you want to be able to um, scan a barcode? The next thing you'll want to think about is the question functionality. And this is where you can actually do some, some pretty advanced things inside of locate to you So you might want to be able to say, do you want to have a drop down for a t particular type of question? You can just click on the plus option here. You can enter in the name of the question and you can choose the type of field that that, that is. So whether or not that's a text field, a date field, a drop down, photograph barcode, you can choose those different options that are available there. Um, you can have as many of those as you like and you can actually order them in a particular order just by doing the drag and drop. Um, but then what you can actually do is you can actually go into the edit of that particular question and you can actually say, okay, well this question will only appear when there's a certain rule that's been set. And that rule might be based on a team region. It might be based on the content of the goods that you're actually delivering. So let's say you're doing an alcohol delivery. When you're doing alcohol, typically you have to do doing a, an ID check or something, other questions you might want the driver to actually answer. This is gonna be really useful for being able to do that. You might say shipment content equals whatever it might be, alcohol, if that makes sense. Um, and then that, that question will only appear when you actually select up those particular rules. You might also have it based on a custom field value and you might say, okay, based on this particular job type that equals this particular value, then this question should only appear as well. And so that makes it yeah, really, really flexible and being able to set up and configure proof of delivery to work how you want for your business. Now this is useful for doing deliveries, but it's also useful for doing service businesses. Um, a number of service customers that use locate to you want to be able to say for this type of delivery that they're doing and they're doing an install, for example, then they want to have a different set of questions uh, populating. So now what I'll do is I'll just show you how that can actually appear on the mobile device. So from a mobile device point of view, um, what you'll see is your list of all of your bookings. You can see them listed here. And so in this example, I'm going to click on complete. Now at the time of complete, it's going to ask me for a signature. I'm going to put in the contact name of the person receiving the goods. Then in this example here, I've got the ability to take a, a photograph, which I'm going to do and just do that. And you can take multiple pictures there. Um, you can enter in some notes here. Okay, go next. And now this is where your questions will actually populate. So these questions will show them in the order that you've actually set up, set them up in the system there. Um, you can just go click on the drop down, whatever those answers might be. Uh, and then finally, you can actually then take another photograph, click use. And um, you can also set up here, you notice the little um, asterisk there. That means that that's gonna be a mandatory field, obviously. Just click next and done. And that's now being complete. And so when you're inside the office, you'll be sitting here and you'll be like, okay, show me a list of completed bookings for the day and be able to click through and you'll have all of the information that's been entered from that proof of delivery available to you to be able to send to your customer. Um, you can download a proof of delivery uh, PDF there. Um, you'll also have all the answers that have been entered, the photographs that are available there, you can see them there, um, and being able to, to download um, and download that PDF. Now, you can also send that customer that live tracking link. Um, the PDF here shows you all the information, the signature, uh, it can be customized as well based on how you do the configuration. So I hope that... Th <laughs> So I hope you found that video really useful. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to add a comment. I'm happy to answer those questions. If you want to email me directly, feel free to shoot me an email. My email is steve at locate2you.com.